Hello and welcome everyone. We are back again with an another informative video. Today we are going to discuss about how pet insurance works in USA and why it is important to get one. So let's get started and first understand what is pet insurance. Here we go. Pet insurance is an insurance policy bought by a pet owner which helps to lessen the overall costs of expensive veterinary bills. This coverage is similar to health insurance policies for humans. Pet insurance will cover either entirely or in part the often expensive veterinary procedures. Evaluating and comparing pet insurance plans is necessary in order to find the right plan for you. All pet insurance plans typically don't cover routine care costs and pre-existing conditions. Pet health insurance provides peace of mind that you can afford to get your pet the best care in the event of a costly accident or illness. As with human health insurance, there is usually a deductible, which is an out-of-pocket expense before the coverage begins. Most providers will base the amount of the insurance premium on the average cost of veterinary care in the owner's region. Also, the policy may not cover all veterinary procedures. Key takeaways: Pet insurance is a policy purchased by a pet owner to offset the overall cost of their animal's medical bills. Similar to human health insurance, pet insurance relates specifically to pets and veterinary costs. There may be an out-of-pocket deductible payment before a plan pays a percentage of covered procedures. Cost and coverage vary based on many factors. How pet insurance works. You can't predict when your dog or cat will get sick or injured, but you know it could happen at any time. Pet insurance protects your finances by covering your pet's unexpected wet bills. It follows a reimbursement-based model. That means that when you take your dog or cat to the vet for an injury or illness, you pay the vet bill at the time of service and submit a claim for reimbursement. Because of this reimbursement-based model, you're free to use any licensed vet you'd like. How much does pet insurance cost? To help with early costs and unexpected emergencies, a pet owner can buy a policy that will save some out-of-pocket expenses. As with human healthcare insurance, a pet owner will pay a yearly or monthly premium. Some of the factors impacting the cost of pet insurance include species dogs usually cost more than cats because they are bigger and more claims are submitted for them. Breed some breeds are predisposed to certain illnesses and injuries. Gendered statistically, more claims are submitted for males than females, so females cost less. Age the older the pet, the costlier the insurance, thanks to the ravages of age. Location insurance costs more in major metropolitan areas than it does in the suburbs and rural areas. What does pet insurance cover? It's best to research and compare each pet insurance plan thoroughly as coverage varies from insurer to insurer, but most pet insurance plans cover treatment for accidents, illnesses, and amp diseases surgery, hospitalization, and AMP technician care, diagnostic testing and AMP imaging. Some pet insurance companies also cover genetic and AMP breed specific conditions, exam consultation fees, complementary treatments, chronic and AMP recurring conditions, prescription medications, or an AMP specialist care. What doesn't pet insurance cover? Most pet insurance plans do not cover cosmetic, elective, or preventative procedures, breeding, pregnancy, or whelping, prescription diet food. Why do you need pet insurance? According to CanonJournal.com, every six seconds, a pet parent is handed an emergency wet bill of $1,000 or more. A 2017 survey conducted by GoBanking Rates showed that 57% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account. Without pet insurance, that 57% could be facing a tough decision when it comes to their pet's care. When should you get pet insurance? The sooner the better. Whether you're 3 years into pet ownership or 3 minutes, ensuring a healthy pet now ensures they'll have the most coverage available later. How long does pet insurance take to kick in? Every pet insurance plan has waiting periods to prevent fraud, and they differ by company. For example, a company has a 14-day waiting period for illnesses. 
As long as your pet makes it through this waiting period before showing symptoms or being diagnosed with an illness, they're covered. Once waiting periods are over, your pet is covered, this period does not start over at policy renewal. Is pet insurance worth the price? Even a healthy pet has necessary expenses that a new owner must cover. Consider this hypothetical example. When the Fosters adopted Rufus, an adult rescue dog, they knew that they would have some expensive first-year costs. They knew the dog would need to be examined by a vet, spayed or muted. Given blood work to test for general health and typical diseases and given vaccines. In total, the Fosters would need to shell out somewhere between $400 to $550 for their new pet in its first year in their home. If the pet incurred any other issues during the year, such as more blood work, medication, or an emergency visit, the costs would end up being even higher, potentially more than $750 per year. As the average price for pet insurance in 2019, as noted above, was $585.40, paying the insurance in the first year of owning Rufus made sense to the Fosters, however. In year 2 Rufus general costs were expected to be a lot lower. The annual checkup, general blood work, and second year vaccines would amount to a total of $280. The Fosters realized that there was a risk of Rufus having an emergency that would cause them to spend more than the estimated $280, perhaps even more than the $585.40 it cost to get yearly insurance. But they decided to forgo it, as Rufus is a generally healthy dog. Average Veterinary Care Costs The connection between humanity and animals stretches back into the dawn of history as humans have taken them into their homes and hearts. In many cases, pet owners see their pets in the same way they see their children. Progress in veterinary science allows owners to seek out many procedures for their animals that were previously for humans only. These procedures can be expensive. As CNBC reported, Pet Plan states that the average cost of an emergency veterinary treatment runs between $800 and $1,500 for cats and dogs. Primary pet care includes annual exams and vaccines, blood work, and dental cleanings. However, there is explosive growth in specialized areas of pet care such as neurology and oncology. Also, pets may have medical emergencies, just like their human owners. PetcareX.com lists the average annual examination cost between $45 and $50, while vaccines run around $18 to $25 each. For some potential pet owners, the prospect of high medical expenses can be a deterrent to adopting a pet. Additionally, for those who do adopt, the possibility of expensive procedures and medicines can lead to a decision to put a pet down, known as economic euthanasia. If you found this video informative, please like our video and subscribe our channel. Also hit the bell icon button for our new video notification.